to accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, let's jump to the effeminate and don't mess with Mr. In Between. You got to spread the joy up to the maximum, then gloom down to the minimum. Have faith up and the morning is liable to come upon the scene. Do it straight, I lost the mind, so no. Man, they said you better accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, let's jump to the effeminate, don't mess with Mr. In Between. You're listening to Saturdays with Ted. The next 30 minutes of music is sponsored by Slate Music. SlateMusic.com. Welcome back to the program from her latest CD, Bright Eyes. That's Faith Amour. How are you? I'm amazing. How are you, Ted? I'm feeling much better now that you're here breaking up my studio, and I appreciate that. Faith is part of a fabulous event that's coming up February 16th at La Dome which is in Oakville on the North Service Road, east, or east of Trafalgar. It's uh, West End Jazz. It's a series that's been going on for a while now. And on the 16th of this month, What a Wonderful World, a tribute to Louis Armstrong featuring John McLeod's sextet. He's the horn player with a sprinkling of Ella Fitzgerald, <laughs> courtesy of my guest, Faith Amour. How much do you know about Ella? I know a lot about Ella. Oh, I yeah. did um, about a year and a half uh, tribute to her uh, in honor of her hundredth anniversary of her of her birth. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so I've been traveling throughout Canada, um, in the U.S. I'm doing Ella Fitzgerald tributes, so I know quite a bit about her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and you're sort of a fairly young person. Uh, I like to th- hear that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask how old you are, but I mean, for somebody to, uh, uh, to have that kind of a passion for a singer who was obviously generations removed from yours, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so as I was growing up, um, I wasn't listening to, uh, the same music uh, as everyone as of my peers. Um, I would, uh, have the opportunity to listen to gospel music and classical Mm -hmm. music, but, um, jazz was kind of that allowable music in my home Mm -hmm. um and uh i caught on to ella um early on in uh high school and then going into university she was the example to be learning from so that's uh that's how that happened yeah you grew up singing in church choirs i sure did yeah Yeah. i love that yeah bach children's chorus in scarborough and then um different private lessons and just always doing music always singing so you're an award-winning recording artist and a songwriter as well yes sir Mm. who who, uh, inspires you for your writing Ooh, that's a great question um for my writing i would say that in terms of the atmosphere of the songs that i write um i really like what gretchen parlato um esperanza spalding um even Joni mitchell uh just kind of a spacious um neat like somewhat jazzy but more accessible uh that they do Mm -hmm. um but then also um when i do more of a traditional style of of writing then it's definitely um like the sarah vaughn type of music where you can take liberties and sketch to your heart's delight um especially the way that ella does you know Mm -hmm. the good stuff the the where it comes from the the tribute to uh to satchmo Mm -hmm. will that be primarily um on trumpet or will it be somebody singing Ella Satchmo as well. So Satchmo will be primarily on trumpet, and that'll mm-hmm. be Mr. McLeod, John right. McLeod, um, and then um, and then he'll be backing you. And then he'll be he'll be supporting side by side, kind of the way right, that right. Ella and Louis did it. Yeah, yeah that's um, great. Yeah, so I'll be I'll be singing the Ella portion of that. Maybe some Satchmo, but you'll have to see. <laughs> and what do you listen to when when you're not writing or performing yourself? Uh, that's great. I uh, I listen to a lot of pop music. Um, Pop, hip hop. Um, I listen to um, older, older tunes from also Ella. Like I, her discography is so vast; it's over two thousand songs. So it's kind of you can never, you can never. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You can never run out. Yeah. You can never run out of uh, of songs of hers to listen to. Well, two thousand songs. <laughs> I mean, be, be old... you'd have to have a lot of time to just like knock them all out. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. You gotta eat and sleep and stuff. And what, uh, after the 16th of February, what lies in the horizon for you? Um, well, I have some uh, performances. I, I have a partnership with Airbnb that I, um, do shows about once a month uh, in the city, um, at 120 Diner and, uh, different locations, secret locations. Um, and I'll be writing this year. I'm dedicating to writing a, a new album. So a lot of, um, 
a lot of lyrics and poetry to express all I've been going through since the last album. So traveling. Tra- absolutely. Um, Cause you've traveled pretty much all over the world. Uh, I have. Thank you. I, uh, I had a recent show in, um, in Guyana, which is where my family's from. Mm-hmm. So my first South American invitation. Well, how was that? Uh, it was fantastic. Oh my goodness. It was, uh, they treated me incredibly well. And, um, and the population was super receptive to the jazz I was bringing. Cause it's not, you know, it's not what they do all the time in Guyana. Right. Yeah. All right. Meanwhile, you'll be able to see Faith Amour on the 16th of February at La Dome, which is in Oakville, on the North Service Road, just east of Trafalgar. Go to westendjazz.ca. That's westendjazz.ca for more information. And it's a wonderful world. What a wonderful world is the name of the evening. Mm-hmm. Tribute to Louis Armstrong with John McLeod and his sextet and uh, the lovely voice of Faith Amour, paying tribute to Ella Fitzgerald. So again, go to westendjazz.ca, and the event is at La Dome. It's February 16th. That's just part of a whole series of stuff that's coming up, and we'll tell you more about that as we move toward the rest of the summer. To accent, she with the positive, illuminate the negative light. Show to the effeminate, no mess with Mr. In between. You got to spread the joy up to the maximum, then gloom down to the minimum. Have faith, up and the morning's liable to come upon.